What's up, YouTube? It's Kato here, back again with another video for you guys today. I wanted to let you guys into my life a little bit and tell another story of myself. Uh, for this one, it's going to be one of the saddest moments that happened to me when I was a little bit younger. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and let's get to it. So one of the saddest moments in my life was when I was only in fourth grade. I was still young, but I knew a lot of stuff already at this age. It was about my parents, and things were going through a rough time. I don't know the full story, but I do know what I saw and what I heard. This situation began when my mom started coming home late from work. My dad started to have concerns and worry about this because it had never happened before. Thinking back about it, I guess I do agree with my dad because for a fact I remember that my mom was always on time, was always on, was never late for anything. She was always there whenever we thought she would be. As time passed on a little bit, my parents and them just started to fall apart farther and farther. So one day, I guess my dad just decided to do something about it. And like I said, I never knew that there was recording devices for phone during this time, but I guess there was. And he decided to record all the conversation anyone had on the house. And the worst happened. He actually caught my mom talking to another guy. So at this moment, I knew what was happening. I knew that everything would just go downhill from here on out. I remember my grandma telling me stories of family going through similar situation and the kids not having the support from both sides of the family. It makes me sad that I'm going through it. But after the situation of the recording, my mom tried to work things out. But I guess my dad didn't want to. He had something else in mind. If I could go back, I wish my dad did kind of give my mom a second chance. But it's not my take on it. But of course, Life always has to go on too. And as time went on, they decided to separate us from each other, or my siblings. My brother and I stayed with my dad, and my three sisters stayed with my mom. Also, before all this separation happened, I had to choose between my mom and dad. It was a really hard decision because I loved them both the same. And if I could choose, I would just choose for them to be together. But it wasn't like that. I had to choose or they would choose for me, as they told me. And I told myself, I would rather be with my brother than sister, so I will always follow him. And I took that step and followed my brother and chose his decision between us, and we chose my dad. This was a really hard decision because at this time, I didn't know that I was ever going to see my sister and mom again. But I was wrong. I saw them. And I still had a chance to see them. Every weekend, I would see them and spend time with them and just share every moment that I have. I was happy that I was still able to see my mom and sister and them. I thought that we would be separated forever, but I was wrong. Everything was still the same. The love I felt, but the difference was we weren't together in the same house. As time went on, Everything started to change more. My mom got remarried, and I really saw my dad. He was really home. He was always out doing his own thing. But I guess I couldn't understand what he must have been going through. Thinking about it, I guess it was just for the best of him. Maybe he was just trying to get rid of the pain and forget about everything. Even though my dad was really home, the time when he was, he spent time with us. And the love I felt was still the same. As time went on, he also got remarried. And this was a time of change. I knew to myself when my mom and dad got remarried, there was no second chance in getting back together. And it made me sad. But I had to move on with my life and continue on living. And just being there for both my parents. Even though I was still young, my love for them was always there. I couldn't give them anything else but my love, and I'm happy for that. Till today, this divorce with my parents have impacted me a lot. I still think back about it time to time and ask myself why it must happen this way. As so of now, I understand more than before why it has happened. It's just not one person's fault, and it has to do with both. And I found out a lot from both sides of my parents, the story and their feelings when they were going through it and why they did the things they did. 
It makes me sad how two people who spend so much time and love together can just throw it away in a blink of an eye. But I don't really have a say in it, but if I could, like I said, I would wish for us just to be one big family again. So this is it for this story today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It's just a little story about myself. A sad moment that I actually remember that impacted me a lot. And I hope you guys don't mind that it's just something negative that I wanted to express and put out there. But I know in the future there's going to be more sad things and bad things that's going to be happening. And we all just got to learn how to cope with it. But if you guys do like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment or question if you guys have any. Make sure to share the video and subscribe to the channel for future content to come. And if you guys haven't seen my most recent video, make sure to check that out also. And enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And like always, it's Kale. I'm out.